Okay, let's start this cute cake topper or cupcake topper. I have my styrofoam ball that I just cut to make it not, not that much round. It's kind of oval and flat in the bottom. So this is modeling chocolate that I just dyed with regular gel color. Uh, I just put a little bit of um, shortening in my styrofoam, but you can use definitely rice cereal. Just make it like an uh, like a drop shape, but the bottom the bottom flat. I just use my scissor to cut the excess, and help helps me to seal the the part where the chocolate uh, close. I just using my hands and some tools. I just make it more more smooth. And the part in the front of and the front of the face is more flat. So I'm gonna look for that part. Don't lose it. And I'm gonna start marking where my eyes is gonna be. Okay, I just mark the center. It just with my fingers. I start, I start like flattening. You see, it's kind of the size of my thumb my thumb <laughs> okay and then using my my tools i'm sorry my hands are dye because i put the the brown color in my modeling chocolate and it went all of my fingers <laughs> okay just with my bowling tool i just start like smooth it a little bit making just tiny bit that deep so my eyes is not so bulky and I keep, um, you're gonna see me uh, fixing every minute almost my my shape of my face because since it's modeling chocolate and with all the lights, it get a little bit uh, too soft. But if you are like a hot hands, you can put um, your piece in the fridge for a couple minutes. So it, it get cool enough to keep working. So now, with a lighter brown, I'm gonna cut a uh, oval shape. Is the first layer, or well, the second layer of my eyes. The first first one was the brown chocolate, modern chocolate. So I just just smooth it a little bit. If you have a oval co cutter, you can do it easier, easier. Okay. Um, since this is modeling chocolate, I don't need any kind of glue, edible glue, so it just stick, they stick together. Just fixing the shape. Trying that in the middle where the part of the nose are is a more uh, line. It's not so round. Just the other one and I just Put it, fix it. Any excess, I cut it carefully with my exacto knife. Try to make it all nice and smooth. So in this part, it's just modeling chocolate. They I already. Um, share my recipe it's the same recipe that I use all the time you see it's kind of a little bit oily because the lights just fixing everything nicely take your time I wanna fix again <laughs> a little bit more the the face. Just make it like 
an indentation where my white of the eye is gonna be so it's not as I said it's not so bulky now I'm gonna use white fondant because I don't have white modeling chocolate so for the eyes I'm gonna use fondant but if you have white modeling chocolate you can use modeling chocolate or gum paste I'm cutting to circles Again, if you have a circle cutter, I just use this one. And I cut the circle and I just uh, stretch it a little bit so it's not so round, it's more oval shape. And I'm gonna cut uh, the inside part of the oval. The one is closer, closer to the nose bridge, yes. See, just tiny piece I cut and I put it in there. If your fondant doesn't stick to the modeling chocolate, you can use a little bit of shortening or sugar glue. Just fixing, trying all the time, not make the eyes too bulky again. And now I'm gonna put the iris. I'm gonna make the space for the iris. You see, using my bowling tool, again, I make kind of an indent where my iris is gonna be. So again, it's not too bulky, my eyes. So in this case, I'm using kind of violet, uh, light purple. Oh no, I'm gonna make. <laughs> I'm gonna make the mouth. It's just three tiny balls for the mouth. You see, it's kind of like um, drop shape together in the base of the eyes. And the third one is more flat, is the lower part of the lip or the bottom lip. It's kind of like drop shape. See, I just fix it, made the center, and I'm gonna mm, 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 make like a little bit flatter the tiny ball, just go under, like uh, the under lip or the bottom lip. I think in this, uh, I just gonna mark like the where the mustache. I don't know how the they call the mustache for the dog. <laughs> I think in this uh, moment, I I put my my little piece in the fridge, just to you see it's less shiny because I just put it in the fridge for a couple minutes. I'm sorry, I just oh, out of focus. I just put la a piece of black fondant uh, for the nose. It's kind of like triangular shape and just the nostrils. Now the eyes, as I said, I, I just choose this light purple because it looks cute, but you can choose whatever other color. Just try to, to choose a light color first because you are gonna paint it and give a nice look for the eyes. Just try to make sure that it's almost kind of the same side. I always left one eye bigger than the other. But well, I'm human. I am not, no, I'm a machine. So now using a little bit of uh, powder color and you can use vodka or using my gelatin uh, flavor liquid, I just start Painting just the edge, the outside first, the outside of the iris. And then I'm going to start just blending to the center, make it light lighter with the same uh, liquid that I 
use use the liquid I just yeah just pulling the color to the center where my iris is gonna be no my pupil I'm painting the iris you see and this is the I don't add too much color so the same color that I put in the and the edge I just try to pull it to the center where my pupil is gonna be just try to make it even and now I'm gonna mark where my pupils and I'm using a tiny bit of black fondant but you can paint with black color as well Try to make it like flat. Yep. And just fixing. Fixing, fixing the color. And then I'm just gonna add a white a light dot, like our like the bright or the light. So this gives like life to the eyes i'm trying to warm my with my black with my um white so i look for my other white this is a edible white liquid color you see just the dots where did the and you see oh it's so cute just make it the same the same side oh it's so cute okay okay i'm just gonna fix a little bit my eyes to make sure that there is nice and even try to retouch every time all my my piece now I'm gonna make the ears I apologize because there is kind of out of focus but you have the idea it's just like a triangular shape well I call it like a, a drop shape but I cut the the bottom the round bottom I just cut to make it more like just triangle so I'm using again modeling chocolate, a little bit thicker. You see, it's just like the drop shape and I just gonna cut in a moment, the, the bottom part, the round part. Boom, with the scissors, it's easy. You see, ta -da! And I'm gonna make the same with the lighter color and a smaller size. The same, a drop shape and Fix it just the, the triangular part, just put it on top of my brown color. See, it's just kind of drop shape. To do, to do, just on top, as I say, uh, modeling chocolate doesn't need uh, edible glue. At least you let it dry for a couple minutes, so maybe you need to use a little bit of glue or shortening and as almost done just put in the the ears just kind of blend it in the back part to the head see it's just easy peasy just put the the ears and just blend it and in the back the ear with the the head one of my my ears kind of didn't want to stay so i just put um a little bit of shortening just fixing my eyes to make it pretty I want to thank you, all of you, uh, for your support. I hope you like this uh, tiny 
tutorials, video, me sharing. If you like to to learn something from me, just let me know. I can prepare something. Easy peasy. See, just fix it. I want to put like a, some heart. It's just this part of the uh, project. What I want to share with you first, the head. Because you can put it just in a cupcake or you can put like a, a bed of hearts and just put the, oh, the cute. I'm going to make the, the, the little puppy, the girl. This is kind of the boy. Zip, hello. <laughs> I hope you like it. And see you soon. Thank you.